Pretty excited for this one. What do you see now? I now see a close-up of a man with a beard and a receding hairline wearing a maroon jacket. He seems angry. Yes, he is. Today we're going to see how Gemini 2.0 screen sharing feature is going to change how we engage with our work, our digital tools. For me, I think it's one of the best features yet. You can talk with Gemini while sharing your screen real time. You can have a conversation and it can give you feedback. It can help you navigating the web. It can help you with doubts or problems that you can have with any particular software. And we're going to see how it understands videos, dynamic visuals. So let's see what I'm talking about right here. So the first thing that you have to do is go to the website called aistudio.google.com. Click here, the menu right here. We have here where we're going to have the conversations. Talk to Gemini, start a real-time conversation. That's what we're talking about. We can show Gemini We'll see what we can show ourselves to Gemini, have a conversation with it, or share your screen. That's the one that we're going to use. On our right, we have right here the ball that we're using, the newest one, Gemini 2.0 Flash, experimental, output format, audio. We're going to talk to it through audio. And voice, we can choose, I don't know, like let's say, for in chart. Okay. And you want to go to the menu right here, and here it is stream real time. We're going to click right here. So right now where we're going to go is right here, select video source. To click right here and you can use your camera or what we want to do is screen. We want to share our screen. We're going to allow this time. Okay, so here we have, we can share a Chrome tab, whatever we're using. We can share a specific window. For example, let's say I want to share only my, here, my um, Premiere Pro window or that's the one we're going to go entire screen okay yes so now can you hear me yes i can hear you just tell me where am i what can you see in the screen okay i see your screen and i can tell you're in adobe premiere pro you also have a video of yourself in the top right of the screen can you tell me what am i doing right now okay right now you are in the premiere pro window it appears you are dragging a video clip from the media bin onto the timeline. It's not exactly that. What am I moving? You are moving the playhead on the timeline. That's correct. Perfect. Yeah, I would like to know how to do a cut right here. Okay, you want to know how to make a cut at the playhead position in Premiere Pro? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, to make a cut at the playhead position in Premiere Pro, you can use the keyboard shortcut Command plus K on a Mac or Control plus K on Windows. Alternatively, you can use the razor tool in the toolbar and click on the timeline at the playhead position. How do I know what is, what is the razor tool? The razor tool in Premiere Pro is located in the toolbar, which is typically just above the timeline panel. It looks like a razor blade icon. So you can see the capabilities of this stuff. I mean, this is like a tutorial, a live tutorial right here. How can I change the lighting on this specific clip? Okay, you'd like to know how to change the lighting on a specific clip in Premiere Pro? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, to change the lighting on a specific clip, you can use the Lumetri color panel in Premiere Pro. Select the clip in the timeline, then go to the color workspace or access the Lumetri color panel from the window menu. Once there, you can adjust various parameters like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. You can also use the color wheels for more precise color grading. Based on this picture? Oh, okay, this happens sometimes, of course. Um, it stopped, it end, ended the conversation. So what we're going to do here, See, something went wrong. We're going to click right here and say, clear chat to start a new stream. Perfect. Let's go do the same. For example, let's change timelines. What can you see right here? Okay, I see a different timeline now. It looks like you are now in a different sequence and it's called Nosferatu. Would you like me to describe what I see here? Yes, I'm going to play 
start the timeline and I want you to tell me what do you see. Okay, I'm ready. I will describe what I see as the timeline plays. Okay, what did you see? I saw a brief clip of a woman looking up with a distressed expression, followed by a close-up of a vampire-like creature with sharp teeth and pale skin. As you may know, I come from the film industry and I'm enjoying myself a lot playing with these AI new video tools. So if you want to see the stuff that I'm going to be creating, I will add in the description of this video the all my other YouTube channel where I play with these tools and I create my own shit. So you're both welcome to go there and subscribe. What do you see now? I now see a close-up of a man with a beard and a receding hairline wearing a maroon jacket. He seems angry. Yes, he is. Do you know who this actor is? The actor you're seeing now is Jack Nicholson. I want you to tell me how many changes of angle, camera angle, you're going to see in this clip. You ready? Okay, I understand. You want me to count how many times the camera angle changes in the video clip? I'm ready when you are. Ready. Right. How many? There were two changes in camera angle. Perfect. Can you describe what changes have you seen? Sure. The first camera angle shows a close-up of the man's face. Then it changes to a medium shot of the man holding an axe. And then? And then the camera angle changes to a wider shot of the man in the room. Okay, let's, let's continue with the clip. What do you... I want you to explain to me what you're seeing in the image. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. In Perfect. the image, I see a man holding an axe up over his head with both hands. He is standing in front of a door. What is he doing? He appears to be swinging the axe at the door. Okay. Now I see a woman with a knife pressed against a wall and she looks frightened. Why do you think he looks terrified? She appears terrified because a man was just trying to break down the door with an axe. That's right. Who is this man? That is Jack Torrance from the movie The Shining. Oh, wow. And what does Jack want to do right now? He wants to get to his wife, who is on the other side of the door. That's right. Yeah. And why does Jack want to go through the door with an axe? Jack wants to go through the door with an axe because he is in a violent rage and is trying to get to his wife. I have to say that Google is really crashing it in the AI game, at least in 2025. All the AI tools that is offering, and by the way, for free, the new version of their AI model, Gemini 2.0, the amazing notebook LM. And now this, the ability to share your screen with the AI and have natural conversations and ask questions, review documents, projects, give you feedback about your designs, etc. And how is this, for example, going to change YouTube? YouTube is known to have a vast amount of tutorial videos. Uh, if you have any problem to solve or any doubt, you can go there and type how to whatever. So basically, technically, you will be able to, at the exact time that you have doubt, ask your AI assistant and, you know, like solve the problem at the moment with natural language. Quite impressive. Like, for example, let's say for all you YouTubers, let's see. So we're in YouTube. I want you to tell me how can I access the YouTube studio window. I see that you want to access the YouTube studio from your window. To do that, you should go to your profile picture in the top right of YouTube and click it. Then click on YouTube studio in the drop down menu. Perfect. So if I want to switch the account of my other YouTube channel, how can I do it? Click your profile picture in the top right corner, then click switch account in the drop down menu, and then select the desired account. Is there anything else I can assist you with? 
That's amazing. I would like you to tell me how can I go to access any video and see the uh, analytics. Sure. To access the analytics for a specific video, you can click on the content tab on the left hand side, then click the title of the video you'd like to examine, and then on the next page, click the analytics tab on the left. Does that answer your question? Yes. I would like you to explain to me what are impressions. Impressions are the number of times your video's thumbnail was shown to viewers on YouTube. Does that answer your question? Yes, and I am moving my cursor on top of something. Can you tell me what is it? Okay, the impressions click-through rate is the percentage of viewers who clicked on your video's thumbnail after seeing it. In this case, it is 7%, which means that 7 out of every 100 people who saw your video's thumbnail clicked on it. Do you have any further questions? No, thank you so much. You can go back to the chat and review the conversation that you had. It's quite amazing. So besides being able to help you, you know, with any doubt that you can have in any software that you're using or troubleshooting any problem that you can have, filling forms, I mean, knowing where to go to click something. I'm really excited for this one because we're going to start seeing a lot of different use cases of this software troubleshooting tutorials reviews, document analysis, website navigation help, whatever you need. Uh, but mm, the main idea to have in mind is that you are able to have for free in aistudio.google.com. You have the ability to have an AI assistance, assistant that can see what you're seeing in your screen. And with natural language, you can have conversations and ask him for whatever you need. So that's quite, quite impressive. And as you can see, it's free, it's very, e it's very easy to use, you know. And again, I'm getting like very, very tired of repeating this, but this is the worst that it will be. So that's a very, very cool time to be alive. If we can dream big that this is the point of all of this, I suppose, I cannot wait to see how this AI screen sharing feature can be merged with the ability of the AI models to act, to take action. If we go back to the example of editing, I can be, you know, he, he will be able to edit my stuff or review the scenes that I'm working on, assist me in real time. And it's going to be very interesting to see how we, how it's going to change the interaction of how we work, how we do stuff. So we're done. Thank you so much for your time. Tell me if you want in the comments, how are you using this tool? Because I think that it's very important that we share how we use these new amazing tools and the possibilities that can offer us. And share it in the comments if you want. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next one. My name is Rafa. Stay kind.